When an object is selected, it's the only editable area. Selections can be made according to shape, size, or color. There are four types of selections, geometric, freehand, edge-based, and color-based. In the next lesson, we're going to go over all four types. Depending on the object that you want to select, you'll choose from four different types of selection tools. To get started, open up data file using selectiontools.psd. Once you've done so, go to the Layers panel and click on the Stamp layer. Let's select the Zoom tool and click on the stamps in order to magnify it. Because the shape of the stamp is very geometric, we're going to use the Rectangular Marquee tool. Once you've selected your desired selection tool, click and drag to select the stamp. Now right-click on the selection and choose Layer via Copy. You'll notice a new layers appeared in the Layers panel with a copy of your current selection. Let's rename it by clicking over the Layer 1 title. We'll rename it Pink Stamp. Afterwards, select the Move tool, then click on the pink stamp and move it around. Now, the next object that we're going to practice selecting is the piggy bank. So select the piggy bank layer. Scroll the image up and to the left to get to the piggy bank. The piggy bank has a more organic shape, but it also has a very clearly defined edge. So we're going to use the magnetic lasso tool to select the piggy bank. Now using your mouse, click anywhere along the edge of the piggy bank. This will be your first anchor point. Then drag your mouse along the edge of the rest of the piggy bank and automatically anchor points will be situated along the border. If you notice that it's not reading the edge very well, then you can help it along by clicking and defining where the edge is. Then just like with the pink stamp, let's right click on the piggy bank. But this time, instead of copying the piggy bank, let's select layer via cut. Let's rename the new layer, piggy bank two. Then select the move tool and click and drag the piggy bank to see it separated from its background. Let's scroll all the way to the right and work on selecting the lettuce. Let's select the zoom tool so we could zoom in on the object. We want to zoom in, so let's select the zoom in icon on the option bar and magnify the lettuce. In order to work on the lettuce, we have to be in the lettuce layer. So let's scroll down in the layers panel and select the lettuce layer. Selecting the lettuce is going to be in two parts. The first thing that we want to do is select the rectangular marquee tool and make a rectangular selection of the lettuce. Now in the second part of selecting the lettuce, we're going to select the Quick Selection tool. Our goal is to remove the white background, leaving the lettuce as the selection. So after selecting the Quick Selection tool, we want to select the Subtract from Selection in the Option bar. Then using your mouse, click on the white background to remove it from the selection.
Now the remaining selection is just the lettuce. Now let's right click on the selection and select layer via cut. Select the move tool in order to move the lettuce. You can even move the lettuce to a completely new document. Let's rename the new layer, Lettuce 2. Now the last selection tool that we're going to use is a color-based selection tool. Let's scroll down Then scroll to the left and scroll down a little bit more to expose the yellow bottle. Let's find the yellow bottle layer and select it. Next, right click on the quick selection tool and choose the magic wand tool. The Magic Wand tool is a color-based selection tool. Because the yellow bottle is the same color, all you have to do is click on it once to make a selection. Afterwards, right-click on the yellow bottle, and same as before, let's select Layer via Cut. Select the Move tool, and drag the yellow bottle away from the background. Let's rename layer 1 to yellow bottle 2.